it's on bro will won the race and we've got a competition winner that is on the front row of the grid again for this one looking forward to seeing Cameron McConville, Kelly Slater's performance in this one. The champion surfer in action in the car. It's going to be great. Well, I believe he's also been warned because of his entry speeds into the corner. He's, he's using the black stuff and a few acres of green bits on the outside as well. Is he the sort of guy, Nick, do you reckon that would win it or bin it? Kelly Slater? Yep. Well, you know, he's the only eight times world champion in the world. He's <laughs> got one better than Lance Armstrong. Yes. He has, and he's got one better than the man himself, Shoemaker. So I believe he's one of the he's probably one of the greatest athletes in the world. But can he race? Is he a driver? About to find out. His lap times certainly look pretty impressive. We've got Hamish and Andy from the Osterio Network that are taking part in this. We know the name Brant Webb. Yes, the, the, the Beacon School Miners. It's a great Dean guy from Australian Idol, the good-looking kid who came third. But maybe he'll be, come, be coming first today. Erin McNaught, isn't she a hot chicky babe, that one? And our own Christy Malthouse as well is uh, in this particular field. We'll keep an eye on... The travel reporter, Jules Lund. There we go. And it's great to see the competition winners doing so well, fellas. Joe Ingigneri, I hope I pronounced his name right. He's Sicilian, Joe. And he's uh, is a good bloke from what I hear. And he's been good on the track. OK. Set for a start here. Watch to the right of your screen. Daniel McPherson is on pole position. We spoke to him in the paddock yesterday afternoon. Enormously pumped about this race. And right behind him is Kelly Slater. Green light now. Away they go. And making a tough start, Andy Lee looked as though he struggled with the clutch off the line. He's lost a number of positions there. But McPherson... Well, Andy will be happy that he's ahead of Hamish, boys. Exactly. It's been a real real chat on the airwaves, that hasn't it, the battle yes. between those two. And I wonder if Megan Gale's here today supporting her boyfriend, Andy Lee. Oh, she's not a bad sort, fellas. <laughs> Through the first couple of turns, McPherson from Kelly Slater. Jeez, they're a bit slow, aren't they? What sort of speeds do you reckon they do, Nick? Oh, mate, that, not as much as me on the Eastern Freeway, I tell you. Come on, boys, speed it up a bit. And girls, control formula, they're all running BMWs here. And they go through an intense training program, Cam, in the build-up to uh, to this weekend, don't they? Well, they're out at Sandown last week, Rusty, for about five days. Paul Stokel was headed up the driver training program. They go over some theory, some whiteboard stuff on lines, cornering, breaking. They're taking a nice line through there. Look, using all the road, they had a little bit more just there, but then they go out onto the track for the scary stuff. And that's where, if you're an advanced driving instructor, you try and increase your daily rate sitting next to some of these people. That'd be right, Nick. Yeah, Cam, I spoke to some of the celebs during the week, and they're very. They're, 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 a lot of people say this is the highlight of their careers. You know, they really do. They love the training program you guys put them through, and it's certainly one of the highlights in their life. And they spelt my name right on the screen, which is perfect. Very well, impressive. You demanded that, I think, didn't yes, you? Yes, I, I spelt it out for them. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart Bishop has uh, moved his way up into third position. McPherson leads. He's taking the tidier line. But look at Kelly Slater. Car one. Kelly Slater, eight times world champion. Possibly the greatest athlete and best looking man ever in the world. Well, and I say that as purely a straight heterosexual. Of course. <laughs> well, if, he does, if he does eventually retire from surfing, maybe uh, this could be the next career. Yeah, could, yeah. I'm a walk out of work. He might be a surfer out of work. Brant Webb, car 21, the Tasmanian, has moved his way up through the field as well. It's good to see that competition winner. What's the gentleman's name? Stuart Bishop. He's a jeweller from Queensland, fellas. And I wonder if he's wearing some of those jewels today. Could be slowing him down, perhaps. <laughs> Slater looks out the side. Of, I think he's had a bad run out of that corner, Cam, and Kelly Slater's lost a position. He must have missed a gear or something because he slowed dramatically. But have a look. He's going to try and make it up under brakes down Big here. Big under brakes, Kelly Slater. He'll hang on, it'll shorten up the corner for him, but he hangs on to second position. I'm not sure where Daniel McPherson was going out there. I think he was too busy watching the inside mirror. He missed the apex a little there. You know, a great story about Daniel McPherson. From 99 to 2001, he actually lived across the road from the Albert Park circuit. So it'd be a big thrill today for Daniel to actually be on the track. He'd be a neighbour of yours, wouldn't he? Uh, he's a very good mate of mine. And may I say, just a terrific bloke all round, Daniel McPherson. And uh, his ex-girlfriend is in the race today, Sarah McLeod, gentlemen. She had a bit of an off, actually, earlier in the in the weekend and tagged the wall, but only minor damage, I believe. Well, I wonder if those two come across each other on the track today. That'll be interesting. <laughs> we'll get your we'll expert comments on that then, shall we? <laughs> on the relationship or the, or the driving? <laughs> <laughs> McPherson. Kelly Slater is in car one here, and he's making a, a lunge for the lead. You'll get oh. there, Slater. Well done. Oh, well done. And that's it. just right there, fellas. You see why this guy's won the world championship eight times. McPherson took pole in a time of 2 minutes 46.4, and he was nearly half a second faster. But it's Kelly Slater from position three. And there's Come our competition winner, Stuart Bishop. He's doing well, fellas. He's doing really well. The jeweler for Queensland. 
hopefully he's got his family jewels on today. <laughs> You talked about the performance of, uh, of Slater as a sportsman. If you look back at the results of, um, of the celebrity race over the years, James, James Tompkins has won this twice, the Olympic rower. We've seen Sean Giles, the Australian superbike champion last year. But a lot of Olympic athletes tend to do well in this kind of competition, don't they? Well, James Tompkins, uh, he's, he's competed in a lot of different motorsport events since then. He's done different rallies. I know that he's done track days with different cars. Whoa, a bit of a moment there. Daniel McPherson, though, he seems to have dropped off the pace a little bit. He, he does a little spot. bit. Uh, Kelly's got, his, uh, got him at the moment. But it's great to see Shane Jacobson, uh, of course, Australia's favourite, Kenny, doing so well in fifth position, fellas. I mean, what a year he's had. Nick, is this a, a problem with the stereo systems, uh, not a big enough subwoofer or uh, anything along those lines? Mate, well, talking from experience driving down Chapel Street every uh, Friday night, the louder your subwoofer, the more attention you get, especially from the cops. <laughs> <laughs> so Slater's had a little bit of a moment here. He's dropped back into position three, the world champ surfer. And we shouldn't forget either that Lane Beachley is driving car seven in this field, so there's been a bit of, uh, bit of rivalry between those... Um, between those guys. You know, the two greatest world, pro surfers probably ever in the world, Lane Beachley and Kelly Slater. Lane Beachley, of course, seven times world champion, gentlemen. Uh, one below uh, Slater, but possibly going to make an eight very soon. Replay of the start here. Nick, your thoughts on this? Uh, who's that guy who just kind of came out there on the... Uh, from the well, in the middle there. What yeah. I think happened was it was Andy Lee who bogged down at the start and Mike Mackay behind him was the one who launched away. Well, Andy Lee obviously trying to impress his girlfriend there and saying, hey, babe, here I am. Can you see me? Well, he's moved up to six since then and uh, Hamish Blake, his partner in crime on uh, Fox, is down in 17th. So that's going to make for some interesting chat uh, during the week next oh, week. Well, that's going to be on because, you know, those boys have become very well known. Throughout. They've got the Drive Time Show, 4 o'clock on Osterio Network throughout Australia. A top-rating drive show they've had a fantastic year well oh, this is the oh, top three oh, oh. This. follow the leader and that's all good for kelly slater who kept the uh the neater line through that corner but th it's on here boys isn't it it that's certainly is but no pranks so far no it's, they're all very well behaved gentlemen touch, touch, wood, touch, touch, wood. Wood. touch wood that's one of the common you know mistakes you can make as a driver is following what the car's doing in front you know you sort of get that fixed vision and they did that classic they all just followed like sheep straight off the road <laughs> Nothing in it, and you'd expect that with uh, with a control formula like this. Daniel McPherson yesterday in the back of the paddock, he was spending a bit of time talking to some of the guys at, uh, at Red Bull Racing there. I think Mark Webber and, and Cohen, he was just enormously excited about participating in this race. And the girls aren't travelling too bad. We've got some gorgeous girls in the race. Christy Malthouse, which we mentioned, Eric McNaught, Miss Universe Australia 06. And let's not forget Laura Sortan, boys, who was uh, Miss Universe Australia 1997 and Miss World Australia 1998 the only or well, the first lady to actually win both titles you're good on these stats yeah well, mate I'm, 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 I, I was, I was going to say certain gentleman's name for another network but I just stopped myself <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, I do feel very special today gentlemen I think he's going to elbow us out of a commentary gig oh look at this massive amount of speed on oh! there someone else follows him off the... who was that Sarah McLeod Sarah the rock chick going for a bit of a rumble in the grass Rocking and rolling. This is on through here too. Oh, did my best Murray Walker then too. Yeah, did your best Murray Walker. <laughs> I've been waiting for that from you. It's Bishop who leads the way. Stuart Bishop, car 68 from McPherson. A competition winner, the jeweler. Competition winner. Isn't he doing a good job? Yes, he must be so excited. He's, he's bleeding. Competition winner. He's probably uh, you know, Australian karting champion or something or Queensland State karting champion because he's showing them all up at the moment he certainly is these celebs wouldn't be liking that fellas because they like being in the spotlight you know they like the glare of the paparazzi on them and it looks at like, the moment it looks like Stuart Bishop our competition winner is going to be getting all the coverage isn't he what tremendous performance Slater we'd expected a bit more from him at this point in the race come on boys get a move on and How would you approach this, Nick? Uh, I'd do what Red Simon said years ago, boys. Straight into the fence first lap, get all the publicity. <laughs> <laughs> Front page Herald Sun. That's what you got to do in racing. You, know, you don't want to be slow. You've got to go out in a blaze of glory. Hey, safest way to go. Take yourself out. Take all the publicity. Listen to the tyre squeal through there. They're chucking them round. Daniel McPherson is training for a full Ironman in a few weeks up at uh, Port Macquarie there. So... He, Probably rode, you know, 100k this morning and swam a few k before he got to the track. A bit like Nick rode to the circuit. Yeah, and no, I was consoling Marcus Schickenberg, fellas, just uh, just letting him know that the after parties will still be worth it tonight. 
Did you uh, recommend that he try a new sort of type of product or anything like that? Well, mate, him being the world's first male supermodel, me being the world's second male vlog model, you know, we had a lot to discuss. What in common? Yeah, well, you know, he's the man who taught me how to wax my back. <laughs> Reckless driving, he was chucked out for reckless driving. I, I would have thought that he would have fitted in perfectly here. He, he, you know, he probably fitted in perfectly uh, throughout his whole career. But we can't really go there, can we? No. <laughs> Slater's rebounded here and he's managed to uh, catch this group again. Where's Daniel McPherson? Oh, there we go. Car 25 is McPherson, second place. He's doing oh. your race leader. Here's McPherson, this is aggressive. Oh. They touched, they definitely touched there. Uh, just a bit of a kiss, fellas. Oh! oh. Well, Bishop's not afraid to argue back. And Jules Lunn will be a bit disappointed with his performance today. He's 13. A bit, of, bit of an adrenaline junkie, the getaway presenter. He uh, he won't be too happy with 13th, I'll tell you that much. He was, uh, he's been enjoying Grand Prix week here. And they spent a bit of time, as Cam mentioned, at Sandown Raceway. And really put through the, you know, quite a rigorous training program for this. Slater back up into third position now. He's got his hands full too, boys. I'm not sure where Daniel's trying to go there because he's going to end up at all. So he switches <laughs> back to the inside. He was running out of road there rapidly. Obviously, he's experienced playing a policeman in the bill. Uh, coming to great really effect. Coming here. effect. Here we go. What's going on here, Nick? Oh! Number 68. Jeez, that's, that's Bishop. <laughs> Have a look, he gave him another tap here on that. That was a last minute dive up the inside. They only had a slight touch, but then Bishop gave Daniel one here at the next corner. I think there'll be a few words exchanged between Stewart and Daniel after the race, gentlemen. I might go and uh, stand between them on that one. Are you looking a little nervous, Nick? Murray Walker's just walked in the commentary oh. box. Are you... Uh... Oh, hail the great Murray. Hello, Murray. You, you, are, you are my hero, sir. And the only reason I did the kick today... Put, put the cams on, mate. Thank you, Cam. Murray was part of our celebrity race coverage last year, and Kelly Slater's... Just, just give me, let me give you a little tuition, Nick. Oh, please, Murray, this that's what I'm here for. This is what you have to say. I've yeah. been told you always stand when you commentate. Yeah, well, I'm sitting talking to you. Oh, thank you, sir. You have to say, wow, look at that! All right, hey, wow, look at that! Very good. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And the sound controller's okay. just taking the earphones off his head. I've just <laughs> blown his ears out. Stan, you've got to stand. You've got to do this properly now as we go oh. back to the action here. I'm standing with Murray. Joe Ignari in 99. Our competition winner, Joe Ignari, who is Sicilian. Uh, Murray, do you know anything a lot about the Sicilian? And you've told them, of course, that these are absolutely identical BMW 130s, haven't you? No, because I'm not being paid by BMW to say that. But, uh, <laughs> but hopefully I'll get one for free now, Murray. Yes, the 130i, is that the car? It's a fantastic the, car. And, uh, six, I'll be expecting a call Monday morning, BMW. Six-cylinder, 230 horsepower engine. Now, look at the way they're going now. Kelly Slater has a look. And that's Daniel McPherson. He runs wide at turn one. That's all good for Kelly Slater. So Slater moves through. And oh. McPherson, it's all been brought undone. He's back to fourth place now. And this is the last lap. We're almost there. Bishop leading. McPherson in second place. And then it's... Ganeri. The Alcacinia. Jacobson. And then Mackay is in seventh place. And it's almost and, home now. And Dean Perry, the tap dancer from Tap Dogs in eighth position. And, oh, ha oh, Hamish Black, how could you? And I will make a prediction that he's absolutely going to be right this time. A um, BMW is going to win this race. <laughs> I'm very disappointed, gentlemen. Kevin Musket, the captain, you know, the captain of my soccer team, Melbourne Victory, way down there in 15th position at the moment. Come on, Kevin, you can do better than that. Of course, Melbourne Victory is our champion Australian soccer team. All right. right. But you call it football. Yeah. We still call it soccer here, but we're catching on. You're doing well. Are you enjoying your commentary, Nick? I am now that Murray's standing next to me. This has made my year. Heading for home in the celebrity race here as we count down to the start of the formula one ing australian grand prix a big morning of track activity here and still a lot more to come in our coverage we're going to take you right through until 5 p.m this afternoon and melbourne certainly turned it on today gentlemen hasn't, hasn't it? What? all those people are coming in to stay expecting rain well suck eggs <laughs> it's beautiful sunshine in melbourne on the beautiful Albert Park Lake circuit. And it's not a case of who's going to win this race, that's pretty obvious, but who is going to be second? Look at this. Stuart, Mc uh, sorry, Sarah McLeod, we understand, is um, he's off in the kitty litter somewhere. Oh, no, the rock chick has taken a tumble. And, uh, of course, as we said earlier, ex-girlfriend of Daniel, and uh, maybe Daniel can show her a few tips after the race. So Kelly Slater sits in third place here. 
and key to move up uh, another spot on the podium. Listen to the tyres protesting here. Slater looks good. Stuart Bishop. And here comes Slater, takes a really wide line. Joe defends. Oh, Slater between our two competition winners. Whoever would have expected this? In trouble, maybe a missed gear. Missed gear for Kelly Slater, I think. Daniel McPherson will pounce. Come on, Daniel. Heading for the chequered flag now to wrap up the celebrity race here at the Grand Prix. They've actually been pretty clean and tidy, Nick, haven't they? We very haven't... tame. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm very impressed. Stuart Bishop takes the win from Joey and Mary. Slater in third. We are seeing a, a few of them pushing the envelope a little. Oh! oh on the run home. <laughs> oh, a bit of a nudge there. Oh. Some more words will be exchanged in the paddock for That'll sure. Get some attention. We've got a problem with the left front for this car crawling its way to the finish line now. <laughs> McPherson, our pole sitter, finished in fourth place. We'll get the results for you. Oh, Jules boy. Lund it was. It was Jules Lund. The ace travel reporter has had a moment Well, he wanted that to final get, turn. He wanted to get away, but he's got away down the wrong side of the track. Mr. Murray Walker, thank you, sir. He's off to get prepared for our coverage of the Grand Prix. And to Nick Giannopoulos, we say a massive thanks. Oh, thanks, mate. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Cam. I had great fun, boys. And now I'm off to get drunk. You enjoy the Grand Prix. <laughs> we'll take a break here. Stay with us. The countdown to race start is on here at Albert Park.